Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hustle C and welcome back to Factorio, uh, where we are trying to create a truly great base without the use of too many belts, so uh, no main boss, uh, which I usually do, but um, in season 5 uh, that I played... Um, just a while ago uh, in German uh, we did have the Bob mods on which adds a few more uh, resources um, which means you have a larger bus um, but there I realized you can only push the signs per per minute so far with with using a bus because uh, eventually even with the with the fastest uh, uh, belts uh, there is just not enough throughput so uh, I think the the, the the goal to to get more throughput is by using trains and uh, we tried that uh, in series uh, four I think the last one I did in uh, in English um, and uh, yeah but not work perfectly so let's find the middle of something is up something is up here yeah So, what I'm trying to do here is finding the metal, because today we want to design our rail network, or the blueprints for the rail network. And last time I did this, I tried to have basically uh, blocks at this size for our factory surrounded by rails and have the rails basically going along the borders of these chunks did not work that well because um, the, the chunks were too small and um, you had the, the the rails eating into the chunks and uh, the whole thing was not tidable. So let's see then. This is probably the middle. use a large power pole there yeah that's that's the middle of uh, this chunk so we can remove all the small ones and I think this time around I will design the rail network around the center of the chunk instead of uh, trying to align it along the sides so we need 
uh, roundabout to start off with. That's not really the center. Let's try that again. And there we have the research. Um, we have the military science and the chemical science that we can do. Uh, otherwise, everything else needs one of those or like the uh, the electric trains they have some some intermediary that require the chemical science so let's try that and then we will probably have to wait um, with uh with the uh, research yeah, four on this side four on this side two okay so eventually we will get this right Four on this side, four on this side, four to spare on this side, and there. Nice. So now can think of getting those done. does this work here probably should be here right okay. and then have it there yeah that that works better no 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 We need a four space gap. And there is the last research. All done. Um, down here. Okay, that should do it. And let's cap everything off right at the border of this chunk. Um, then we will have power there like this and we will have the signals on the inside That will not work because if we have a blocking signal here that could block our uh, rail network 
So what we have instead is some chain signals there. And then split those again in half. And I have run out of signals, but this will be the first part. The next part will be easier because that's just some straight lines. Uh, let me collect some more stuff and then we can add those as well and uh, properly in the end I want to properly design one block that basically has uh, these um, roundabouts on all four corners. Managed to place all the signals so now it's time to create a blueprint of this one and let's try doing this name the blueprint this is a roundabout and the snapping works nice then the next thing of course would be having the rails and I do this over two uh, chunks because we will want to have um, basically blocks where we can build in to be two by two chunks I think that's that's a good good size if we look at our uh, base here we can see uh, the the science production with all the uh, the nitty-gritty um, things that we need up front um, takes more than just one tile and the tiles or the the, the grids should be a grid a square not a rectangle so let's also have this on the vertical and then we have to figure out signal spacing power lines etc well, let's have one here right in the in the middle and the other one would be there about the middle oh and it would be nice if we had logistics going here on the um, on the wire so here There in the middle and we have a one there that we just need for spacing purposes and then signals so I have been back and and forth uh, with with how long should my trains be uh, usually I go with uh, 
uh, one four trains meaning one locomotive uh, three carriages um, but with that many carriages they do not accelerate that great and um, uh, with the with the setup that we have here or with the goal where we will use the trains to transport only ores liquids and science packs i think we should have more trains that are not loading that long um, or unloading for that matter so i'm actually thinking let's go with with uh with uh, uh a three or a one carriage wagon so let's have that here and then we can measure that out here on this side and this should also help hmm. here we have a bit of a of a problem because here we come in like this so let's add those here instead yes that works um, and with with shorter trains uh, we basically here um, we have this square uh, that that we can have for our actual factory but here on the side of of our railway we have a bit less than half uh, a tile half a, um, a square a chunk where we can have uh, some rails that are related to loading or unloading and that should then not eat in too much and with with one long trains uh, you basically don't need uh, to reserve one side for just one train you can probably fit in two trains there so let's do this side as well um, And then here it will be there and then like this nice so let's put this blueprint in this book the roundabout and then have another one oh, not upgrade we need a blueprint we also want to snap that to grid but here we probably want to have the size 42 and we need an offset of 24 minus Um, or is it 16? 16. Okay. 
let's create this one and we can see it snaps to the wrong position so we need to have an offset here let's try with minus eight um I think it should be four more. That would mean minus 12. Yes. That does it. Well, let's put that also in the, in the book. Um, add the signals here as well and name that connection vertical nice and then let's do the same thing for this one that would then be Connection horizontal. Also with the signals in there. Snap to grid. 32. 12. Minus. Ooh. It's the right, but we also need to have the snapping there on the X axis. To be that's then probably 32. Let's see. Yes. It's a bit weird because the uh, the green line uh, does not indicate where where the uh, actual thing is is placed. But I think. We have something here. Hmm. Um, if I take this one. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, because they are uh, two chunks long, they basically have the snapping on on that on that axis so that means this one cannot be snapped to there and this one cannot be snapped to there so what we then actually want to do is copy this to there and 
copy this. To there. And then create a one from here. Have this going there. That would be um, connection horizontal right. We will rename the other left. horizontal left and then one for this one here it's all the icons in there rename that Connection vertical bottom so thirty two minus twelve. Hmm. Should it be plus? No, the minus 12 is, is okay, but here we need an offset of yes, and that's basically because we have this this roundabout which is a one tile uh, which throws everything out of the out of the window so and this is vertical top nice And we can then finish this up with there's a roundabout and there and then we need Uh, this one probably no we need eventually I will get the right one there that one and that one. Oh, and down here we need another roundabout. Um, roundabout is easy. There's only one. And that means we have this four by four. Um, uh, 
Yeah. Let's just add the, the same things again. Hope that works. Uh, and this is um, small rail square. And I named this this small Okay, the alignment does not work. have to see about that. Uh, I call this uh, small because eventually um, we uh, we want to have uh, or we might also end up with with higher uh, higher squares. Um, so let's try forty two here. See what it does. Um, we are one off on each axis. And maybe that was the, the wrong direction. Uh, we need and the x axis that's six we went six two four and in the y axis it's two um that would then be like this Okay, X, we're still two off. Um, yes, nice. But as we can see, it does not really tile that well because it wants to place a roundabout uh, right next to it uh, where we should actually have an overlap. So. not sure how to deal with that so let's have uh, a sync on that and on that note i will pause the or finish this video to have a quiet sync and come up with a solution right at the beginning of the next one hope you enjoyed this design process uh, it was a bit uh, of a longer one but it's important to get this right because this will carry us throughout the whole game. All right, until next time, goodbye.